In this movie, I want to show you how to make a sale. The first thing you want to do is click up here on the customer quick pick and find the customer that you want to do your business with. So just to make it simple, let's use the first one here, Philip. So make sure that the customer is displayed down here on the bottom of the screen. That's the customer we do our business with. The next thing is we want to find the pieces that he would like to buy. So you go to item quick pick, click on this button here. And you can now either scan the item that you would like to sell or just simply enter the SKU number of the piece. So let's say he wants to buy the item 0022. You add to the shopping basket. And maybe he also wants to pick up a repair. As you see, the repair 186 is already on the shopping basket. So if this is all he would like to buy, you can proceed to the checkout screen. Click this button down here and your final sales screen will come up. Here will be the list of items that you just added to the shopping basket. Here's the customer information and here's the financial information. Now just keep in mind that of course the taxes will be adjusted to your province or state where you are in. Now from here you can either add a discount individual for each piece on the receipt or you can add a global discount to the whole receipt. So for example you want to give the customer 10% calculates all the taxes and the total would be $1,084 or you can give the customer the whole thing for 10 for $1,040. Next thing you would ask the customer how do you want to pay? Well he will give you let's say $800 in cash and the rest on Visa. Just tick this little one off. Other payment methods are credit notes if the customer has already returned merchandise to you. Layaway. You can also use gift certificates or loyalty dollars. Uh, the program has a function built in where the customer can collect some kind of loyalty points towards f future purchases. And the last thing you have to do is enter in here in the green box your username. Every employee in your store will have a clerk name or user name assigned so the computer knows who sells what. If you have just installed the program uh, as our trial version, we have only one clerk set up. The clerk name for him is user so u s e r the final scales button will pop up you click that and that's all you have to do now the computer prints out a receipt with the images on the receipt as well as it will create a financial transaction for the day and it will put the merchandise the customer just purchased into the customer purchasing history and you will see that in here